of Allah, the merciful, the beneficent. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. I don't have much time, of course, if Tad is just from the corner. Three simple messages from the verse that uh, young man earlier on recited, where God says, Kutiba alaykum usiyabu kama kutiba ala ladina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqoon. Fasting has been made an obligation upon you, just like it was made an obligation upon those who came before you, in order that you may become God conscious. Three lessons that I draw from this particular verse. Fasting has been given as a special gift, not just to the Muslims, but it had been given to people who came before, Jews, Christians, people of the book especially. Fasting is not just a practice for the Muslims, but it's also a point of unity between all faiths. And that is recognized in the verse of the Quran that confirms the obligation of fasting. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not a small thing to say that Muslims are not the only ones who fast. People who came before were also fasting and the scriptures that still live prescribe fasting as a good and a pious practice. So that's the first thing we learn, the connection between various faiths in action. Second thing we learn in this verse is what God saying the purpose of fasting. So that you may become God conscious. What is God conscious without having a refined conscience? Refined conscience is where you are aware that you have a duty and a responsibility on this earth, not just to yourself, but to those who are around you. You have a duty and a responsibility given to you by the divine instruction that you should be good to God, but you being good to God alone is not enough. But you also have to be good to your fellow human beings. Without being good to fellow human beings, you're actually not being good to God. And this twin approach, two sides of the same coin, this journey that humanity makes is actually the essence of God consciousness. Essentially, that's what Muslims do over the month of Ramadan. And the third thing we learn in the month of Ramadan, ladies and gentlemen, is the concept of fasting itself. Siyam, so means abstention, to keep yourself away from. What are you keeping yourself away from? In Islam, every worship, every act of worship is active. When I'm praying, I'm moving, you can see me moving. When I'm giving charity, I'm actively involved. When I'm performing Hajj, I'm doing something active. Fasting is the only thing that you are abstaining from eating, drinking, fulfilling your desires. This is a passive duty, but passive duty to develop your inner core. Why do you need to develop your inner core? Because by developing your inner core, you develop and you realize your inner, human, inner humanity, your humanness. This is what we learn from the discipline of fasting. You become better at everything that you do. You see no evil, you hear no evil, you say no evil. You engage in good activities in society. Ladies and gentlemen, for you to transform your life, Impactful transformation requires repeating of the same thing over 21 days to 40 days. It's what the neuroscience teaches us. That if you keep on repeating the same thing, 21 days to 40 days, you'll transform that habit, will become someone different. God has chosen for Muslims here 30 days of fasting to change their lives so that they can become beneficial to themselves and the society around. If they become beneficial to themselves, they will be beneficial to the society around. It's never one or the other. Continuous and symbiotic relationship. Fasting teaches us that inner discipline, that inner core. So to finish off, ladies and gentlemen, fasting is about making me a good human being. Able to abstain from temptations, evil and all difficulties in life. Fasting teaches me to become a good human being by being generous and charitable. Did you know Muslim community is only less than 5% of British population? And yet we give, ladies and gentlemen, every Ramadan more than 120 million pounds in one month in donation from Muslim community alone in Britain. That is a substantial sum of money, larger than any other communities that you can think of. This is because fasting teaches us teaches me to be a productive, beneficial human being, externally and internally. So let's share the spirit of fasting today. Let's share the spirit of togetherness today. And let's make our world a better place. Thank you very much.